Welcome back. It's a big day for State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. She wins the Democratic nomination for the governor's race. You might remember she switched parties so she could run as a Democrat. Now she will be facing Republican Governor Kevin Stitt in November. Joy Hoffmeister joins us this morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you. It's great to be with you. Did you get any sleep last night? Oh, very little, but it was all good. <laughs> what did um, you think about the turnout and just, yeah. uh, you know, you did switch parties. Were you a little worried about just how things would go? So very excited. We could feel the energy as I traveled all over the state. Um, I have over 500,000 miles on my car oh my and we have traveled oh. all over the state, hometown tours everywhere, and we are hearing people are ready for change. So that part I'm not surprised about, mm -hmm. uh, but it has been really a, a, a very much a time where, you know, it's a sprint to November and um, we are hitting the ground running today. Yeah, what's your main focus now between, okay, you've got the nomination, now November. What do you do between now and then? Well, I'm an independent thinker and like a lot of Oklahomans value faith family education hard work uh, this is something that also means you can get things done when you know how to work with people get back to those Oklahoma values that we know are about common sense working together courage uh, you know governor Stitt said he would run this state like a business and by his own standards that business of Oklahoma is failing uh, we need to focus more to ensure we have a great world-class education, um, access to quality, affordable health care, and great, meaningful jobs. So um, what would you do differently? Because families are hurting. I mean, you know, financially, you go to the grocery store. That's right. If you filled up uh, your car lately, then you know at the pump people are paying uh, so much more. What would you do different than what you think the governor is doing? The governor has a voucher scheme that would be a rural school killer. Uh, it will take money away from every child in Oklahoma public schools. We have a severe teacher shortage, and our schools are desperate for those resources. We also know the governor is wanting to privatize Medicaid. Did you know half of Oklahoma children uh, qualify for Medicaid? Um, th we know this brings harm to rural hospitals, nursing homes. Uh, we also know that if we want to have a robust economy, we've got to have the infrastructure to have mid-sized small businesses thrive and uh, great jobs for families. The governor wants to do away with the uh, grocery sales tax and also reduce the personal income tax. Your thoughts on on that? Well, I absolutely think that the grocery tax is one of the most regressive tax, but I actually don't trust the governor to do it. You have to be very careful that we do not harm municipalities. Uh, so that's where the devil's in the details, uh, but we have to have relief for Oklahoma families. Let me ask you, because I talked with um, Auditor Cindy Bird yes. last week, and she was talking about the epic scandal, and now we're hearing taxpayer dollars misused possibly more than 50 million. And she really did lay a lot of that on the Department of Education that you have run for eight years. Where is the accountability from that department that you headed up when it's a 10-year investigation? I mean, it just seems like that everyone always says, oh, you know, it just took so long. And, you know, yeah. what do you say to that? Because you were overseeing the, that department. Absolutely. And we are so proud of that track record of holding them accountable. When we took office, there were cracks in the laws. Some of those cracks still exist that Epic was allowed to exploit, to put cash over kids. Uh, we have held them accountable. I have actually a seen the governor block our efforts to um, immediately claw back the money that governor or that Cindy Bird identified. And uh, these are things that are identified that happened much earlier and we have taken great huge steps. I've clawed back $20 million from them. I'm asking for probation again. Uh, the State Board of Ed would not give that before. I'm asking that some of these problems that are still existing be dealt with today and we will bring that to them in July. A lot of issues on the plate. Yes. All right. Joy Hoffmeister, thanks so much Thank for you. coming in early. We appreciate it very much. I know we'll be talking more Absolutely. as we get closer to November.